my students you have been seen the previous video i think now we are going to see the basic concepts of lda the first one you can just look at here there is a laser out of this laser there is a uh, light rays are coming and here we have an half silvered mirror through which the signal is uh, I mean light splitting into two things one is your reference the other one is the measured one so here we have a modulator this is only because of the shifting of the particular signal so we are having reference as well as we are having the measured one through which those two we are just going to calculate the frequency shift and whatever the signal which is coming out from this particular mirror that will be captured through the PMT PMT which is nothing but photo multiplier tubes so out of this photo multiplier tubes that signal will be getting converted into current because in PMT inside we have an electronic circuit along with an amplifier unit output of this PMT signal will be analyzed in the spectrum analyzer so this LDA Doppler effect is a method of measuring linear velocity and the flow is seeded with small tracer particle. The laser beam which is focused on the object. When the object is moving, the frequency of the signal will also get uh, changed. So whatever the signal, a scattered signal which would be detected through the PMT. In the PMT, we have an amplifier along with the electronic circuit. So this electron inside there will be an electron guns over there through which electron particles which are going inside. So whatever the particles which comes out of it that will be converted in terms of current. That value will be amplified through which there is an amplifier section inside the PMT. So the output of PMT will have a current. So the frequency of scattered is shifting by an amount proportional to the speed of the object so here we are using helium neon laser there are so many different types of laser source we have but in helium neon laser the wavelength is 632.8 nanometer and the color is red light so the light is scat scattered on polystyrene uh, sphere and approximately 0.5 micrometer in diameter which are suspended in water at a concentration of 30,000 by volume and the beam is splitted via a mirror that is half silvered mirror one beam passes through the flow tube and the laser light is scattered by the fluid and collected through a part then it is focused on the cathode of the PMT tube so there is a modulator which is for shifting the frequency so whatever the signal comes out that is the reference beam which are caused to fall upon photo multiplier and mixing with the signal beam. So the zero velocity of the frequency shift is about 30 MHz. So the Doppler frequency shift is also added. So whatever the signal comes out of this that will be received via your demodulate that is your detector section. So single beam laser, I mean Doppler anemometer. So in single beam laser, what we are going to do is, you are having the laser source and whatever the beams comes out, that will be focused through focusing lens. It will be just incident on the medium. So here the medium is your fluid flow. So when it strikes on the fluid flow, then it is getting into scattering. So the scattering one is received through receiving lens L1 and we have a mirror. So whatever the signal comes out that will be reflected in another point and here we have a beam splitter. So what this beam splitter will do it will split out whatever the beams comes out from the mirror. Why we have two signals here this First, this is called scattering and this particular thing is reference. So, if there is a reference and the receiving that is scattering, then only we can able to calculate the frequency shift. So, whatever the signal comes out of from the scattered that will receive through PMT. Finally, we can just read out the output value. 
so one beam from laser focused upon the fluid whose velocity is going to measure so part of the beam is scattered and transmitted to produce reference the signal beam collimated by a lens that is called collimator that lens is l1 pass through an aperture that aperture is a which define the scattering angle and reflected by a mirror m1 the reference is collimated by a lens l2 and made to overlapping by means of mirror m2 and a beam splitter so here you can just look at double beam so in double beam from the laser we have to split it into two that is what dual beam laser will do when you are going single beam laser the intensity is very low as well as we will have small fraction of light and just to improving that we are going double beam laser doppler anemometer there are two beams we have <coughs> So in the beam splitter, there is one lens L, another one L2. So through this beam splitter, the signal is getting splitter lens L as well as L2. And those two signals are striking on the medium that is your fluid part. So whatever the striking nature, after that the signal is receiving through your PMT. So you are scattered one as well as the reference one get compared with each other. In dual beam laser, one single laser beam is splitted into two by using beam splitter. Then that will be focused. Then it falls directly to PMT. So the important features of dual beam is beam splitter is splitting the laser. Then those two beams are focused same region of the flow. One of the beam fall directly to PMT. The other one is partially scattered. Then some of the scattered one travel in same direction as the reference beam. Then it will pass it to the aperture and mixing with the reference one so here just i would like i think you got understand anyway i would like to show you some simulation you just have a look on this diagram there is a laser and we have a beam splitter so how the laser source is getting splitted so out of this laser there are two beams are coming out it is a continuous wave and monochromatic laser beam. And just to coincide these two beams for converging the transmitter one, we have a lens over there. So using that particular lens, those two coherent beams are intersecting each other. And this particular point they are in phase with nature so you are having an elliptical intersection volume and which will be called it as a fringe pattern so you have both the dark and the light pattern they are coming towards with a particular angle so this is how we are getting a fringing pattern so this is how your single beam as well as double beam are acting like this so after converging the thing they are receiving through the receiver part so here in this receiving part we have in the receiving part we have an PMT that is your photo multiplier tube so the output of this particular signal will connect it through any analyzer so generally the people used to go for spectrum analyzer just to analyze the signal. So you have a waveform with the response of both frequency as well as amplitude. So through which we can able to calculate the frequency shift of scattered and the reference signal. So once the frequency is known as well as 
the speed of light is known and the wavelength of the thing is known then we can able to calculate the velocity using this particular formula that is like uh, in the previous uh, video we have derived one expression that is frequency shift which is c by lambda i v of unit vector j as well as i so through which we can able to calculate the uh, like a flow of your uh, frequency shift that is we want to calculate the velocity so if you know the frequency of that particular signal then we can able to calculate the velocity of the fluid flow in any medium that is either it is in high temperature or it is in high pressure we can able to calculate using this LDA method either you can go for single beam or you can go for double beam using the Doppler shift principle this is this is how your LDA method is working so I think you got understand from the video and the animation thank you